Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our family service at St Edward the Confessor Church Drink Houses. We hope you enjoy it. The theme for this month's All Age Service is Children of God. Later this month in the York Diocese, the Children of Light Festival will begin and last for the next year where there'll be lots of events and opportunities for children to be heard and to take the lead. This is really important to God and the Archbishop of York will commission the children of York Diocese to go out and tell the world about Jesus. So for our all-age service this month we thought we would start everything off by talking about what it means to be children of God. Hi Jesus, hi John. Oh, hi Peter, hi John. John, you're muted. Hi Peter, hi Jesus. Sorry. It's all right. So, um, I thought it was important for us to have a, a quick meeting to discuss the, the message that we want to try and get across to the crowds today. I agree, yeah. Um, what do you mean, Peter? Well, Lord, I, I mean no disrespect, but you have a tendency to get waylaid by, well, distractions. Random people wanting to ask you bizarre questions. I agree, yeah. I mean, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, Peter. Is it wrong to see the needs of those around us? Uh, of course not, Lord. I just thought it might be worth us setting up some boundaries give you a bit of space to think i see uh what do you think about this john i agree with who uh both of you like now for instance we're trying to have an important meeting about your theological teachings and there are kids trying to join this call i mean who do they think they are you've better things to do than think about children let the little children come to me do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Wow, I need to write that down. So, you're saying I should let the children into the meeting? You, you want to talk to them? Yes, Peter. Okay, I'll admit them. Sorry, Lord. That's okay, just let them in. How are you? Oh, we're, children are connecting to audio. Hello, how are you doing? We are very good. Yeah? It's great to see you. Hey, hi. <laughs> the retelling of the Bible story we've just heard tells us that Jesus wanted the children to come to him. So our first song this morning is from Hillsong and it's called Let the Children Come. Bye. 
It's very easy, especially as you get older, to forget the wonderful things that are around you and to become bogged down by the everyday things that go on in your life. But that's not how God intended it. Rapper and Cherub are here to tell you what they think.
Amazing. Well, you have really been doing your... Hey, humans, you could have so much more fun if you opened your eyes and ears a bit more and enjoyed all the things that the boss has made for you. It's springtime. The whole of God's creation is waking up and getting ready to show off and cheer you up. Take a look. Join in. It will make you really happy. And do you know something? It well. makes the boss really happy when you enjoy his creation. There, rapper. That told them. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you finished? Oh, well, Sheriff, we are very glad indeed that you have got that off your chest. And thank you, rapper. You have been so helpful. I think Terra feels quite strongly that God is not boring. Our next song this morning is one that we sung at Holiday Club last year. It's a very popular song in my house again. And it's called Frog, which is fully rely on God, because that is what God wants us to do when we come to him. Nothing's too hard for him and our God is reliable, so good he never changes. God, he made me, he knows what I need better than anyone. God, he loves me, he only wants good things for me. So I'm gonna fully rely on God, I'm gonna trust him with all I've got. I know he will never let me.
our activity this morning is a little bit different than normal. It's a science experiment that we tried with our youth group a few weeks ago to varying levels of success. Uh, we wanted to try to capture the wonder and excitement that you get when something unusual happens. And so we have created uh, something unusual um, and we played around with it and encouraged our youth group to do so as well. So what you'll see next is uh, a video of how to make this uh, odd, wonderful thing that is part of God's creation. Um, and you'll see some uh, experiments that our youth group did that um, also show the wonder that can be found around us with ordinary things that you might just have in your cupboard. Hi, so uh, at youth group a couple of weeks ago we were thinking about uh, wonder and excitement and joy and um, we decided to have a go at some experiments. Now, if you would like to have a go at some of these experiments, um, listen carefully and I will tell you what you will need. So, the experiment that most of us chose to do was um, the Ublik experiment, which uh, for all you need for that is a container that you don't mind getting uh, messy, um, newspaper to put underneath the container so you don't make the mess that I did when I made this, um, and you need some corn flour and you need some water. You can experiment with how much you need of, of both, start with the corn flour and add water until you get the consistency that you're looking for. I um, won't tell you what that is, I'll show you in a picture in a bit. Um, the other experiment that people did was um, to using salt and water to try and make crystals. And for that you need a um, bottle, uh, a pencil and a string so that you can wrap the string around the pencil and hold it in place. Um, and you need um, lots of salt and some water, something to stir it with and then somewhere that you can keep that for a few days. What should happen is you should get some crystals forming. Um, mine did not work, but um, I can show you one that worked a bit better than mine did. Um, the ex other experiment that I did that you could try if you happen to have any of this at home is the coffee filter um, experiment where you can uh, draw on a coffee filter or any paper that's like coffee filter paper and then you can either drip water on it or you can put it in a cup of water and the colours in that felt tip will separate um, and make really pretty patterns and you can turn that into things like butterflies and stuff. So, uh, three experiments for you to try and the reason we did them is because it takes something fairly ordinary and shows actually this is exciting and sometimes we can think about life as fairly ordinary but actually there are things in it that are amazing and exciting and that's what God wants us to see. So, um, have a go at some of these. Um, with caution where you're using the corn flour because it can be messy but it is incredible. Enjoy. Well I hope if you have a go at making uh, your corn flour and water mix at home you make slightly less mess than I managed to make when I had a go at it. But isn't it amazing? Absolutely fantastic. Next we're going to have a look in a bit more detail about what it actually means to be a child of God. What Jesus meant when he said let the children come, do not hinder them. Let's have a look. Jesus came to earth with a mission to bring the kingdom of heaven down to earth. A kingdom where humans are treated with equal and mutual respect. A kingdom where the poor and the oppressed are actually invited in to be a part of God's big family. And a kingdom where love reigns supreme over all things. And Jesus said that this kingdom belongs to people such as children. 
You see, children are not only our models for faith, but they are also the future of the kingdom of God here on earth. Now, I'm very passionate about this. Adults, how easy is it to overlook the things that our young people say and do just because they are younger than us? And young people, if you're watching this, how easy is it to feel like the things that you say and do aren't really that important to the adults because, well, they're older and they have more experience? Well, this is not how the kingdom of God operates. Let us not hinder our children any longer. Believe me, we have some incredibly gifted and talented children and young people here at St Edwards. And I do believe that out of these people, God is raising up a new generation of leaders and influencers for the kingdom of God. And we need to follow Jesus' example in Matthew 19 by praying for these children, training them in the faith and blessing them. So parents, adults, lay hands on your kids and pray just as Jesus did. And kids, it's time for you to stop believing that you're less important than adults are. You are the future of the kingdom of God here on earth. And you've been designed with a purpose. So let that light shine brightly for others to see. What are children like? What does Jesus mean when he talks about having childlike faith? I think probably the easiest thing for us to do is to think about some of the things that children do or the way that they behave that we kind of lose as adults that perhaps we shouldn't. For example, children are curious. They want to know everything and they're excited by every new thing they find out. They want to explore. They want to go places. They want to find things that they haven't seen previously. They have imaginations and they use them. They create worlds for themselves. They're really accepting of others. They don't care where somebody's from or what they do for a living or what kind of house they live in. Just go up and say hi. It's the thing that I think we lose a lot as we get older. They've got a beautiful sense of, of, of innocence that we sometimes lose as we, as we get older and experience more things in the world. I think we need to try and hold on to that innocence, just that way of thinking about things. They give generously. I know, for example, that my four-year-old is quite aggressive in her sharing. You must share. <laughs> um, they they want to give. They want to. They can't see why you wouldn't make sure that everybody had the same amount that they wouldn't that you wouldn't share with them. They find it really difficult to understand that somebody might not have enough things. Not, not be able to have books to read at home. Of course they've got books to read, but we've got books. Let's give books to somebody else. They're content. They know how to be content. And I, again, think that's something we really need to try and hold on to, being content with what we have rather than about wishing the things that we don't have. They freely express love. They are so generous with their hugs and their time, telling you that they love you. They get up when they fall down, and I mean that physically and metaphorically. If you watch a toddler fall down, they just get up laughing and carry on. And perhaps there's a way that we should approach life as well as uh, falling down, not being embarrassed when things go wrong, but kind of getting up and carrying on. And they believe, they just believe. If you tell them something, they just believe. And I think Jesus is talking about that kind of purity of of just like not trying to understand how everything works, but just going, yep, okay, yep, you're you're the saviour, that's that's fine. And they just accept it. So perhaps our challenge is for us to as adults to try and get back some of those things that we may have lost. And children, your challenge is to really live those things be curious go places ask the questions accept other people express your feelings things that you already do because that's what god wants keep doing it keep hold of it 
don't hide it away. What aspect of childhood does God really want us to use to help us as adults engage with him? And I really believe that it is playing, being silly and engaging with God in different and unexpected ways. Now, I've watched my children play a lot and often it's their way of making sense of the world. Um, my eight year old said it's her way of communicating. And that is really true of their faith and their relationship with God, too. They act out stories to hear it um, and to view it from a different perspective. They interact with the world around them in a way that I just don't. And it makes them understand and appreciate it all the more. The squelch of mud in their wellies, being able to splash in puddles and the sheer joy that brings, skipping down the road on a spring day and really enjoying it. And I think that us as adults can really learn from that. So my challenge to you this morning is to find one way of playing and being silly in God's creation, of using your faith as a way of viewing the world differently and using your childlike nature to engage with it in a way that you might not have done before. Now it might be that for you it is playing with colours and um, actually we've had lots of people hand in flowers um, and use that as a way of just sometimes keeping their hands busy but also letting them be creative and trying different things or perhaps it is making something and you really love doing that let God use those things to teach you more about him let yourself play and be silly for God Our prayers this morning are led by um, the Connor family who have come up with a couple of activities that they thought might be really useful in thinking about family prayers and turn taking in prayers. Uh, after that we will have the Lord's Prayer which uh, includes the wonderful promise actions from last month's family service but also some images created by our youth group the different lines of the Lord's Prayer. The theme of today's service is having a childlike faith and finding joy and fun in our relationship with God. So for our prayers we thought we would uh, show you a couple of prayer activities based around children's toys and having fun with those. The first one uses one of these uh, paper decision makers. You can find instructions for these on the internet if you've not made one before. Uh, it's got some colours on the outside and some numbers to choose from and then under the numbers we've written some topics that we would uh, think about praying for so there's family and food and church and various topics in there and for the second activity we're going to use a balloon you could use a ball or something else just as a way of taking turns to pray for things that we uh, want to say thank you to god for Okay, Anya, pick a colour. Yellow. Y E L L O W. Pick a number, one, two, five, or six. Two. One, two. Pick a number. Six. Okay, your topic is the world. Please help people to look after the world. Oh. Amen. Toby, red, blue, yellow, or green? Green. G R E E M three four seven or eight. Three. One, two, three. One, two, five, or six. Two. Animal names. Here we go. Thank you that for the animals um, that you created. Um, um.
Ready? Okay. Here we go, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. To try and capture some of the joy and the silliness that we've talked about this morning in our relationship with God and the world, our last song is called Undignified. Uh, please enjoy the video for this. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really hope that you've enjoyed it and that it's given you some things to think about. Children, remember that God loves you. He loves the way that you are. He created you the way that you are for a reason and he wants you to come to him. Adults, remember the joy and the wonder of childhood and remember that God wants us to let the children come to him. So let's encourage it where we can. and Let's be a bit more childlike with our faith too. Stay safe, and I really hope that we get to see each other in person soon. Goodbye. First of all, we do a practice. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. We make the sign of the cross, and then a huge leap for joy with our men. Amen. Right, now for the real thing. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.